now we are off to Judgment Day 2003. It was hard to find the underrated, awesome-ass promotional poster that was had Booker in it, Booker T. And uh, the only one that was allowed, that like allowed me to use, uh, was a really terrible 2009-2010 SummerSlam fucking wet dream Um that star shit, it was really bad, and, uh, thank God, I, um, it, it lent me to, uh, that poster, because I really like that poster, uh, I think it's really cool, it's no Judgment Day 2004 for, like, um, 2002, 2003 had the coolest ones, um, but this is another, like, Judgment Day always had the Best posters, best poster designs, at least for like some of them. Now, of course, it took place on May 18th, 2003 at the Charlotte Coliseum uh, in Charlotte, North Carolina. It was the fifth annual Judgment Day event and featured wrestlers from both Raw and SmackDown brand divisions. This event was also the last non-Big Four pay-per-view that was not brand-exclusive until Backlash 2007. Um, you have eight professional wrestling matches, and uh, you have the Hurricane defeating Steven Richards um, over a three-minute, two-minute, two 58 seconds. Um, fun match. John Cena, yes. The Doctor of Thugonomics, John Cena, and the FPI um, defeating Chris Benoit, Rhino, and Spanky. La Resistance. Um, awesome. And, uh, defeating Scott Steiner and Test with Stacey Keebler. Have mercy. Eddie Guerrero and Tajiri, yes. Eddie Guerrero and Tajiri, uh, awesome tag team, defeating Team Angle. Yes, Charlie Haas and Shelton Benjamin. Some of the fucking reasons why uh, Eddie Guerrero um, lost his match. Uh, has lost matches with fucking J JBL, but uh, I digress. Because Angle, uh, Layfield, whatever. Christian won by last eliminating Booker T for the Intercontinental Championship. The vacant. Um, Christian's awesome. I love Christian. One of my favorites. Booker T is another one that um, I don't get enough love. And I, I love Booker T. Oh, lordy, lordy. Tori Wilson defeating Sable for the Bikini Challenge. Man. Does anybody remember these? I sure do. Man, Tori Wilson still looks amazing. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> let's get out of that and go to, yeah, Mr. America with um, um, Zach Gowen defeating Roddy Piper with Sean O'Hare. Singles match. Yeah, Hulk Hogan, Mr. America. <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy. Yeah, that stupid mask. Kevin Nash defeating Triple H by disqualification. World Heavyweight Championship. Yes, singles match. This, I remember the whole leading it up and everything, and it was just disqualification. Um, <laughs> yes. This is when the Heavyweight Championship was, I think, wasn't this when he was, like, unbeatable? Uh, the only one that beat him was Sean, and that was for, like, only 28 days. And he went back until, uh, that Goldberg, and then he went back, and then uh, um, Ben Wall tore him a new ass, and then so forth. Um, Brock Lesnar defeating Big Show uh, for the WWE Championship. That's an, one of my favorite matches. Uh, that was to the stretcher match. Underrated. Now. Um, yeah, the Battle Royale. Underrated, underrated. 